Pizza Smart! Pizza Smart! Pizza Smart! Where even the littlest tech tips make a big, big, big difference. You said that it was at somebody else's shop, and they were charging you some ridiculous fucking price to do what, dude? This is what made you decide to go ahead and change the whole quarter panel out. What happened, bud? The the guy that uh, quartered me a couple, well, he wanted Now, you had him work on it, am I correct? I had him work on it, and he tried to charge me $1,500. For what, dude? To pound out the metal here. Just to pound that out? Pound it out and fiberglass. Hold on, whoa, 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 did you hear that? He said fiberglass. Fiberglass. So you're going to fiberglass a metal car? Fiberglass, yeah. Fiberglass all these holes. Wow. In this area, down here, and all this. Now that's all, that's looking rough, dude. Yeah. What about this? Was he going to fiberglass that crack right there where the quarter panel's completely cracking off the car? Is he? I'm not sure what his Boy, plan I mean, was there. But uh, you, sure. you know, you didn't even mention anything about welding, dude. No. Probably. You're talking taking a DA sander and putting fiberglass mat on it. Yeah. How long do you think that would last, Victor? Not, not very long. About maybe uh, six months or a year. Six months to a year. Yeah. Right, for $1,500. For $1,500. Yeah. Now, you also told us a story about you uh, had a buddy. Now, this is a buddy, a friend guy. I had a buddy come out, and I asked him to quote me how much he would charge to paint the car uh -huh. completely and do the body work and, and whatnot. And uh, he said the uh, first thing that came out of his mouth was, uh, we're going to start at $10,000. $10,000? What do you think of that, dude? I'm becoming a painter. <laughs> I'm becoming a painter. And, and what, what did he, okay, I'm sure you said, hold on a minute. What the fuck are you going to do to my car for $10,000? You're probably thinking off frame rotisserie, right? Yeah, that's what I thought, but... Uh, what it, was he saying, dude? He, he explained that he was going to, uh, you know, take it, you know... He, he said that he was going to... It's, it's a lot of work to get into it, and... This and that and blah, blah, blah. And he was kind of squabbling around and just mumbling. Around. Yeah, basically. And, basically, uh, well, I'm going to say it. It wasn't a frame off. It wasn't going to be, you know, under the hood, firewall. Right. It wasn't going to be under the hood. You know, he not, wasn't even going to paint door jams <laughs> or nothing? Well, he was going to paint door jams, but that's the door jams and under the trunk. Oh, you're saying not under the car itself. But not under the yeah. car itself. Nothing. Right. Not to spruce it up. Son of a bitch, dude. So he was giving you the shimmy sham. Yeah, so I... So know, I guess your buddy's out of the picture. Yeah, way out of the picture. This is my suggestion, Victor. You seem like a family man. You got responsibilities and the car isn't on the top of the list. But you want to get it done. Yeah. This is what I think we ought to do, bud. We go ahead and strip it down to bare metal. We get all this old Bondo out. See right here and over here? Yeah. All right. We strip it down to bare metal. We replace your quarter panel. We get all your body lines lined up. Uh, thank you for fucking mentioning that, Big Fish. We hey, appreciate man. that. We've noticed that your hood's having problems with the hinges. We fix that. We get it in an epoxy primer, and then later down the line, you go ahead and do something else. If not with me, somebody else. But at least it'll be one solid color, and it'll look nice and clean, and you'll be able to drive it that way. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's the plan. And then when you save your money up and... Mama says, okay, this is how much money you got. Go do the body work. Get in a primer, all right, regular primer. Then come back maybe later after that, paint the interior, and then get the outside painted, dude. Do it in steps and stages. That way you aren't getting screwed, and you don't feel like the guy's charging you $60,000 for sanding it down with a piece of sandpaper and painting it with a spray can. So what do you have to say out there to anybody out there watching this video about getting a car like yours restored, because you're not really going off-frame concourse restoration. We already went through that. What would you say to anybody out there that's looking to do a job like this after all the shit you've been through with the two or three guys you've talked to? Uh, do, your do your research. Do your research. research and uh, Don't and talk to the first guy or trust the first guy you talk to. Don't trust the first guy you talk to, and, uh, and uh, make sure that... Uh, you know, you get a couple quotes and get a couple opinions. And, and find a guy that you can trust, bud. That's, that's the most important one. Yeah, because, boy, I'll tell you what. There's body shops out there that will take you through the ringer, and they're your best friend, bud.
And the only thing they ask for is, hey, I need some money. Hey, uh, I, I worked on your car for three hours today. You need to bring me $600. You see what I'm saying? Right. And one more thing that's very, very important, the whole thing, Victor, is always remember this. Don't trust the big fish because the big fish is actually the little fish. <laughs> and he always opens his big mouth, okay, on the wrong time, bud. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. One more time, Victor. We gots to go, bud. Hey, that guy trusts you completely, Now, bro. how do you figure that, dude? Hey, because you could tell he's confident. Why, Why is he confident, bud? Because, I don't you know what? Because he's, he's watched you. Well, it takes uh He's not only watching you, but he's investigating you. Right, but the situation he's, you have, Luchi. Uh, did you hear the story about the other two clown acts that he wanted? And yeah, one of them was his, one of them was his buddy. Hey, what a buddy. One man. of them was a buddy, dude. What a buddy, dude. Wouldn't even give the guy a buddy deal. <laughs> it don't it you always know, work I'll that tell way. You, this is the situation. <laughs> don't it always work that well, way. Listen, this is the situation huh? you have. You know what? What? Uh the guy probably could have got the job uh -huh. if he would have broke it down in sections cuz when you tell somebody, when you give them the big story being a big fish, yeah, uh, you know, it pushes them away, dude. When you break it down in sections where you're going to save them money doing their process, uh -huh. all right, what happens is now they're looking at it like, okay, I like that idea. Let's do this first. Let's do that first. Let me come back in three or four months. Let's do that. All right, and it actually That's helps good. them out. I mean, you know, how many people do you fucking know that got ten or twelve, fifteen thousand dollars cash in their hand to say, here you go? Not many. Exactly. Dude. This guy's a working guy, Lucci. Hey, maybe uh, he's a blue blue collar American worker like you and me, bud. Come on, uh, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, dude. He could. Yeah, be, you he, do know. He could be. Uh, he could be the lowrider gangster from California, hey, MS13. Or he could. Hey, you never know, dude. He could be uh, somebody's nephew who's got millions and millions. He could be, but you know what? You know. You don't judge the book by its cover. Exactly. That's you what treat I'm a human being. Just like another human being would want to be treated. That's right, dude. Okay? Until you find the angles out of what that person's all about. <coughs> you don't judge somebody just by the way they fucking If you want look. back on the freeway, you better go right, dude. Why right? Because that's the way we came. Oh, okay. So don't we can't you get remember? up here? No. Oh, there's a sign up there. Well, so. yeah, you can, yeah. dude. Thank you! All right. All right, all right. Now you got me in the wrong fucking lane here. No, you can I could have went straight and went. Now I'm over here, big fish. Shut the fuck up! Hey, dude. I gotta go. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Watch all the videos coming up about this and if Lucci's working on him. Let's hope he stays the little fucking fish in the little fish bowl right. where the water's almost fucking gone. Hey, I love man. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.